University of uh, Leuven in uh, Belgium, and they're going to do a live demonstration of a sensor for detecting the presence of corrosive uh, liquids uh, on the floor, beams, and seat tracks of structures and airplanes. Which uh, it's interesting because a number of years ago I was talking to an F-16 mechanic and about corrosion, and I, I asked him what the uh, the biggest corrosion problem um, they had in the, in, in the airplane, and he said it was in the cockpit and it came from the pilots. So uh, this is good. <laughs> Thank you very much for the nice introduction. Uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you something about floor structures, probably a little bit overlooked in the uh, health monitoring. And we are lucky that our main sponsor, the European Commission, has already provided a video on our project to illustrate their funding policy. And I can immediately start to show this video. And then we will have a live presentation too. Just to take it as an example, this is a so-called seat track. It is mounted on the floor beams, and this is one of the potential points where a rolling can exist. Meet Dr. Pfeiffer. He and his team are coordinating the Asia 2 project. Their system will provide a permanent monitoring mechanism in the body of the aircraft that could make maintenance procedures more efficient. Nowadays, aircrafts are pretty safe. Normally, we don't have to care if we go by airplane because all airlines has to follow a pretty elaborated maintenance schedule. However, this maintenance which exists today is relatively expensive. Many parts of the airplanes are not accessible normally at normal maintenance. If you have to open your airplane, if you have to dismantle it in a so-called heavy maintenance, you need a lot of manpower, a lot of instruments. You have to take out the airplane out of service, which costs a lot of money to the airline. If you can try to avoid at least a part of these costs, you can give a big added value to the company. The solution is based on the idea of a structural health monitoring system. A permanent sensor network comparable to the nervous system in a human body is placed at crucial structural points of an aircraft. The system will allow maintenance teams to discover corrosion problems at a very early stage, helping airlines minimize structural damage and save valuable resources. This kind of corrosion should only appear every six years. But what we see is that these kind of corrosions appear every 18 to 36 months, causing a lot of cost and a lot of downtimes for the aircraft. By detecting liquids, for example from a spilled drink, the sensor network allows maintenance crews to pinpoint locations of possible corrosion. Most importantly, they can do so without needing to dismantle the entire aircraft. By using this sensor deposed at specific places, the maintenance team has a possibility just to open the floor blade and to remove the problem at a very early stage. This apparently easy solution requires a complex research and implementation effort. Okay. Probably I may have the camera now. Uh, the solution is relatively easy. What we have done, we have developed a sensor that has a certain electrical conductivity uh, or resistance. Here in our case, we have at the moment 3.5 kilo ohm, and we have developed a material which is hygroscopic. It takes up the water, and the idea is that the resistance will increase dramatically when it comes in contact with liquids. Uh, I will take Coca-Cola. This is a kind of a natural enemy of the floor beams, according to maintenance team information. And uh, what we will see is that a certain moment after contact, it is a diffusion controlled process. It will start slowly going up. And at a certain moment, you will have a jump in resistance. A jump which goes in factor of, let's say, 1,000, 10,000, 1 million above your baseline. Because the baseline is 3.5 kilohertz, the baseline is 4 kilohertz, it's 2 kilohertz, this is normal. But we go many, many magnitudes above the baseline. And this is possible by a so called coagulation threshold when a material turns from a conductor essentially into an isolator. This works for water. We can also make sensors for hydraulic liquids. And uh, this is extremely easy to implement too. And we're already at 9 kilo ohm. But I would say as it takes probably 2 3 minutes or even more to achieve probably, let's say, 1 mega ohm because it is diffusion driven, but you already see how it works. The important thing is we don't need to have this multimeter in the airplane. I 
So you can just have your sensor there and you just, yeah, let the airplane fly and in a certain period, after one or flight hours, you send the maintenance team with a multimeter to make a check. If you see it is above, let's say, one minute ago, then we are at. Yes, you have seen it. Eh? It was a huge jump of resistance from relatively low values, factor 1000 above the baseline. Probably, uh, this test stops now here. Uh, probably, I can just can tell you how we developed the sensor. Uh, every maintenance team has a kind of a nylon cord, which they are using to remove ceilings from floor plates during maintenance. This is in every airplane. We just use this nylon cord to give it a con uh, conductive coating and give some kind of wiring and that's all. Probably I may have back the computer. Thank you. Now, just to give you a summary, it is a passive sensor. But there's a damage signal which is factor 1000 and more above your baseline. There's no onboard electronics. Okay, for some applications it might be useful, but for, for us it's good that there's no onboard electronics. It is very low cost sensor. You can do it, go to your do it yourself shop and make your own. It's easy to implement. It is already implemented in the Boeing 737 in Lufthansa since April this year. Here and it is scheduled for October to go into a jumbo jet. Uh, this is a simple multimeter check at light maintenance. Uh, we already achieved, I would say, technology as of nine because we have obtained results. At Lufthansa already it's slightly uh, adapted their maintenance procedures. And this is something to uh, see that in health monitoring. It is an extended sensor, it can be two meters, three meters, four meters, because uh, location of problems is not the main concern. There are no heavy certification steps because most of the components are already certified. And it's also available for hydraulic liquids and kerosene. But what are the benefits? Uh, you can only remove the corrosive liquids if this is possible. You can only repair the ceilings. This is a self volume of ceilings, essentially. And if it's not possible to remove the wetness, you can even say, tell your maintenance team, in two years you have to replace the floor pit. They can allocate resources, and if you can save one day in the hangar, it, it saves you about one hundred thousand dollar property. So, that's essentially all ended. Yeah, thanks. Thank you very much. Okay, any question or comment? Yes. Yes, please. I have a question. Uh, you mentioned that you uh, No uh, ventilation with the surrounding. And this is also the problem why corrosion exists in an airplane. You have very low humidity. There should be no uh, corrosion in the floor, floor uh, area. But due to the restricted accessibility to the surrounding, the water stays there. It's just a natural process that it's, 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 it remains to be an isolator. Yeah, it is in the nature, there's no memory uh, required. Okay? Okay, so we are almost at the end. I would like to uh, first uh, invite all the participants to come here and then we can have